Hello and welcome to Optimize, Google's free testing and personalization product. I'm Jason, technical writer here at Google, and joining me today is Optimize product manager, Alex Q. Hey Q. Hey Jason. So, what is an A-B test anyway? An A-B test, also known as a split test or an A-B-N test, is a randomized experiment with two or more variants of the same web page. So variant A is the original and variants B through N contain at least one element that's modified from the original. So how do you create an experiment? Now, you may hear a couple of new terms here, but don't worry, we'll describe all of them later in this video. So you create an experiment and optimize in three quick steps. First, create a variant, then target an audience, and finally, choose an objective. Now, Q, wanna show us how it's done? Happy to, Jason. Yeah, so let's jump right into the Optimize homepage. Here we are, and what you'll see is we think of it as creating an experiment that contains all of those variants. So let's start there. Create experience, I just give it a name, it's conveniently pulled in the URL based on configurations previously, and by default selects the A-B test. Now, I have a hypothesis about the call to action on the home page. So here I'd click alternate, and I would go ahead and click create, but we've already got one actually down here that I've started, so let's jump right to that one. And here we are on the setup page. You can see up at the top, it's called alternate call to action. First step, as Jason mentioned, is add a variant. Think of this as essentially creating an instance or a copy of the page where you want to make those edits. So I'm going to click Add Variant, conveniently name it Variant 1, click Done, and there we are. You have the original and Variant 1. I'm going to go ahead now and make the changes that I wanted to by clicking Edit. This opens up the page, there it is, but remember this is a copy or instance of it and none of this is live, so we can go ahead and make all the changes we want. And if need to, right here is that little undo button in case you want to undo anything. So in this case, my hypothesis is I want to change the call to action and believing that if I change it to something else, it's going to actually cause visitors to stay and visit other parts of the site. So click edit element, edit text, and I'm going to change this to say view our catalog. Now I'm going to click done down here in the bottom right. Take a quick look, everything looks right, and so I'm gonna click save and done at the top. Great, that brings us back to the setup page. Now step two, as Jason mentioned, is to go ahead and select who gets to see it, what we call audience targeting. I'm gonna click customize. There's a whole range of options you can see here, but for this demo, our flower shop is based in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I just want locals in that area to see this alternate version. So I'm gonna choose and click geography. City equals has already been set and I'm gonna search for Fort Collins. There it is, select it. And then go ahead and click add at the top right. There we go. Now, step three is objective. This is essentially what is it that you wanna measure or try to improve with this test. So let's click add experiment objective, click choose from list. Here there's some pre-configured options in this case, I had mentioned that our hypothesis is that by changing that call to action, we're going to get visitors to stick around and visit more parts of the sites. So I'm actually interested in page views. Select that. Great. Now scroll up. What we've got here is we've got the original version of the website. We've got variant one, which is a copy with some changes we've made, noted here by the number of changes. And we are only targeting those down here at the bottom, those in Fort Collins are going to be the only ones that see this with a 50% distribution between the original version and this alternate version. Everything looks good. All we've got to do is hit preview if we want to check it out. And then finally, just click start at the top and you're ready to go. It's that easy. Thanks Q, that was great. So what you just saw is how to create an experiment in Optimize in three easy steps. Learn more about Optimize and the Optimized Resource Hub.